Welcome to my brother all-in-one unboxing fit. Wait, no, that's the wrong printer. Hang on. There we go. All right, so we'll get at it. I'm gonna, I think I'll open this from the bottom first. Let's give that a try. All right, we're gonna see if this works. Should be easier to do this way, I hope. Even now, for me, I, I find it a little bit heavy. So make sure you have someone help you out when you're taking this apart, or unboxing it, I should say. All right, looks like a power cord. Oh, it looks like uh, here's all the, all the goodies. I guess this is for your for your facts. I don't know if I'm going to be using that, but who knows. Oh, what's it all out in here? Oh. Stop if you're returning this product. I mean, don't take it back to the store these days. Looks like there's uh, some sort of DVD in there. Probably the software if you need it. And, uh, yeah, just the start uh, quick setup guide. Wow, that's one, uh, one heavy piece of hardware. Okay. Wow. As I said, probably uh, if you have a hand, maybe someone give you a hand, it might be a good idea. All right, now we're getting to her. Oh yeah, it's all taped up here. Oh yeah, that's essentially all there is to uh, getting her out of the box. Let me do some more uh, reading here and research and start getting this thing uh, up and running. Okay, I did a quick review of the instructions. I, I don't know. The instructions are kind of like in Chinese to me. So anyways, I, I kind of did a review and I think I'll try to wing it. I'm supposed to open the top here. I don't know how to... Oh, what's this? More tape. Okay. Um, anyways. There we go supposed to open the top up okay so that's open and have all these uh, these are all the um, cartridges here it's supposed to remove them somehow all right yeah okay has a little handle on it so basically from what I gathered uh, try not to touch anything and somehow remove these this plastic holder all right very good. All right, easy. And then I said you're supposed to give it a shake back and forth, so let's do that. And, oh, what's this? Oh, if this says to remove two. Maybe I'll try to remove that while I'm at it. All right, very nice. Anyway, so you give it a shake. And place it back in. I'm going to do one at a, well, I don't know if it's supposed to, I guess it just sits in there. All right, so I'll continue on here. Uh, there's little yellow arrow tabs on each side. Push those in, then you can pull it out. Take off this orange thing. So you can see all this. I know I'm, I'm close up by, on the camera, but okay, so there you go slide that back in. If for some reason you get your cartridges mixed up or you're not sure where they go, they're actually color-coded along the side. You might not be able to see that. Yellow, magenta, uh, cayenne, and black. So I'll just keep oh, push those little tabs in again. Oh, darn it. I forgot I have to give this one a little shaking up. Put that 
back. As far as I could tell from the instructions, that's pretty much all I have to do at this point, and I guess I will uh, close her up here. Go to the next step. All right, so here's the step. I'm gonna, I'm going right to Wi-Fi, hook it up to my network. So we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna click on Wi-Fi. Click on Setup Wizard. And it's not going to be able to find my the name of my system here. It's a uh, it doesn't broadcast. Yours might be like that too. So basically, you're going to have to enter that in. So we'll go new. So this is just basically the name of your uh, what your router bro broadcasts normally. But if it's off, it won't broadcast. So you have to manually enter it in. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see I printed out a few uh, pages here. This one here is from my old printer and it was really causing me a lot of grief. It doesn't look, really look that great anymore. This one, uh, this is from the new printer. Looks and looking pretty good. Okay, I've been using the printer for about a month now and I think you're gonna be happy with it, especially if you're someone who does a lot of printing. Uh, say you have to whip off a 100 page document. Maybe it has a lot of graphs in it, charts, uh, whatever, or some sort of brochure. Excellent, I can't, uh, can't say enough, it, it will do what you need it to do and it does it quickly. You won't be sitting around all day waiting for your print job, I'll tell you that. So it's a fast printer. If you want uh, professional prints, you may need to go to you know, something that's designed for printing photos, uh, something that's dedicated for it. Uh, I would say an inkjet printer might do a little bit better of a job uh, than the laser printer. However, uh, for me, this is fast and uh, I'm actually happy with the results. You can use a photographic uh, type paper. It's like a glossy paper in the uh, laser printer. You have to get a special paper for that. Or use standard paper. It does look better on the photo paper. And one of the things I found, sometimes you get some lines uh, from the rollers. Uh, this is on the photographic type paper. And what you can do is take a cloth and after your your photo has has printed I rub it down and that removes uh, some of the lines and some uh, sort of dust from the ink from the uh, laser printer powder uh, once you put it behind a frame a glass frame uh, it's pretty much it's not noticeable um, again if you're if you really have a photographic eye maybe not the best but uh, it's certainly uh, it's certainly acceptable uh, a few other this is just on standard paper, just another example. Uh, so it does a pretty good job. Uh, here's one in a, in a frame here. And in, once they're in the frame behind the glass, they, they, they look really good or plastic or whatever your frame's made out of. So overall, pretty happy with it. Um, especially if you do a lot of printing. Uh, way better than using an inkjet. Way better. So anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up please, or subscribe. I do all kinds of reviews on products and how-tos in the household. So, have a great day.